Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain how to select objects to process in Autolis program. We have a function called SSGET which can be used to select different type of entities with different properties. Let us see how to use that one. SSGET has a typical syntax. So it is like this. SSGET mode string. Here the mode string can be x p l c there are different strings are there x means select all the objects p means select the previously selected objects and l means select the last created entity in the current viewport similarly c for crossing cp for crossing polygon w for window wp for window polygon f for fence and x with a particular property means this can be set as a filter so in all the objects filter only circles and return that selection set so like that we can select a particular type of objects in the selection so here ssget will have a mode string and these are all optional like uh, if it is a fence we need to give a minimum two points so that could be pt1 pt2 if it is a crossing we may have to give again two points pt1 and p2 which will form a crossing rectangle Similarly, CP means crossing polygon where we may have to give a list of points and filter list is nothing but like this like a line with color and layer and many other properties we can provide so that based on that particular type of properties the objects will be filtered and that selection set will be returned by the SSGET function. So let us see some examples by working through. So first of all I will show you the basic way of SSGET using ssget x option so let us go to visualisp ide take the new sheet and here so i am writing select all the objects so how to select all the objects so ssget x means select all the objects this will select all the objects and return the selection set so we can store it in a variable say select ss all which means selection set of all the objects and close this so now if you select this statement and click load selection you can see a selection set has been created and it's been returned so ss all will have all the objects in the current drawing so let us see how many number of objects selected in ss all so to check that one we can use a function called ss length so ss length of ss all so this will return the number of objects contained in this selection set so select this statement and click load selection so we have got 46 objects in the drawing all the objects are selected okay so this is the way we use ssget now let us see the other example so i am going to take previous so let us say if i have selected few entities previously say i am taking move command and moving these few entities little bit high so now I have a previous selection set so if I want to select objects that are previously processed we can do that using this previous selection set method select all the previous selected objects okay so set Q previous SS previous okay so SS get P that's all so this will return as the objects those are previously processed so let us try this one so i am loading this so if you see we have got a selection set over here if you copy the same thing here and change ss pre in place of ss all we can check the number of objects selected so eight objects shall we check that one so here we have one two three four five six seven eight objects are there which are previously selected and one more ultimate use of this previous is if we have a block and if we explode that block all the exploded objects of the block will be returned into previous selection set so that whenever you explode a block you can select the objects of that exploded block in previous selection let us see that one so we have a block over here whose name is c3 so let us explode this block and select those objects into previous selection 
let us try this one this we most of the times we will be using this in our programs so i am going to write it like this set q say ss block so ss get to select only c3 blocks in the drawing we will be writing it like this ss get x means in all the drawing select these type of objects that is list of properties that is cons zero insert means it is a block and two is the block name dxf group code i am giving c3 so i am asking the program to select all the blocks which are having c3 as block name so i mean select all c3 blocks in the current drawing so let us load this statement so here the syntax is ss get x will select all the items and it will filter blocks with name c3 so let us load this one so we have got a selection set over here let us try to find its length so ss length of ssblk okay it should be one so you can see it has returned one now let us take the block object name and explode it and select all the objects which are coming out of that exploded block so i am writing it like this set q blk ss name we know there is a function called ss name which will return the entity name from a selection set at given index so ss name from ss blk at zeroth index so the first entity we are taking here so load this statement we will get a entity name at index 0 now i would like to explode it using a simple command so vlcmdf is visualist command function so i am using explode command on blk and press enter so now execute this explode command so it's been executed saying true true has been returned means like this command is executed properly now to select all those objects which are returned after exploding we can use this set q ss previous ss get previous selection set now if we execute this statement this will select all those objects after exploding all those objects of the exploded block will be kept in the previous selection set so that we can use them so here we are using ss get previous so this will get all those objects which are coming out of that exploded block so load this statement so we have got this selection set so now if we check ss pre length it should be 3 ss length of ss pre should be 3 because in that block we have 3 objects in there so we we can see that 3 has been returned okay now let's go to autocad and check it out we have this three objects so if you want to check that one say i am giving move command and to select the previous selection set that is ss pre we can use a exclamation ss pre so you can see those objects are selected and you can move them if required and you can process for any other purpose as well that is how we will be using ss get previous now i just want to draw a small rectangle over here so this is the last entity in this current viewport so i want to select this object using ss get l so let's go back to visualis pyde and i am writing it like this select last entity so its syntax is very similar select set q ss last so the last entity i am going to select ss get last entity so just load this one so you can see there is a selection which will have one object if you want to check it out directly ss last is the selection set name so go to autocad and say move exclamation ss last and press enter see it is selected so like that we can use ss get l to select last object similarly to use this crossing crossing means let us say if you if you have a rectangle like this which is crossing few objects say i am giving a dash rectangle so we will take a point over here okay and similarly another point over here so with these two points the crossing window will be this box so 
let us say if you want to select objects using a crossing window from here to here let me erase this say if you want to select like this this is called crossing window so we need to give two points that is the first point where we are starting the crossing window and the second point where we end this crossing window these two points uh, so let me take two points like this so i am storing them into a variable so set q c1 is my first point so get point backslash n pick first corner and then c2 get point backslash n pick opposite corner okay so we are going to take two points so let's load this so it will ask two points to pick so the it is asking pick first corner i am selecting over here and then it is asking pick opposite corner i am selecting here so we have got two points c1 and c2 now i want to select objects which are being crossed over there using c1 and c2 so here i am writing it like this select objects using crossing window so now set q ss crossing ss get for crossing we will be using c okay so the points are c1 and c2 so it will select all the objects which are being crossed by this crossing selection so let us load this one so i am loading this if you want to check out c1 is there or not you can select c1 and load it you can check this there is a point and in c2 also there is a point now if we load this statement it will select objects that are being crossed by this crossing we have got a selection set over here so if you if you would like to check that ss cross objects we can go over there go to autocad and say move ss cross exclamation ss cross and press enter you can see so these are all the objects those are selected by ss cross okay we can also put a crossing over there actually here some are this is a line this is a polyline again this is a polyline this is a polyline so if you want to select only particular type of entities based on a property say lines or polylines we can add few filter points beside this one so it is like this so here we can write it like this list construct zero which is type of entity dxf group code here if i write only lines to select then it will select only lines so i am loading this once again so loading this statement now another selection set has been returned so now ss cross will have only lines which are being crossed within these two points so let us go to autocad and try to move them say move ss cross and press enter now see only those two lines are there in this crossing window all other are polylines this is a polyline this is a polyline this is a polyline so in ss cross only we have two lines selected okay see only these these two lines so like that we can select only lines using crossing window so to use this crossing window we need to provide two points if it is a crossing polygon we have we have to give four points minimum and more than four you can give any numbers okay so to use cp we must give four points similarly what else we have w if it is a window window selection means the first point will be the top left and the second point will be bottom right like this so opposite to this one so if i mirror this we'll get those points so like this window selection will be like this so first point is this second point is this but executing the statement is in a similar way like crossing so in the same way you can use this one using window method it is like this select objects using window method so it is like this set qss window ss get 
window method c1 c2 same sorry we need to get c1 and c2 so first of all let us take c1 and c2 once again okay and then use them c1 and c2 over here so first of all i am loading c1 c2 statements to pick those two points this point and this point and then i am executing ss get window method now we have got another selection ss window let us see what are the objects selected using ss window so move exclamation ss window see so only these two objects are selected because if you draw a rectangle from here to here the completely objects lying in this window are only these two all remaining are going outside so these two are only selected using window selection method similarly we can also use window polygon by providing more points okay now let us try to see using filters like color line type and other properties to select objects so i would like to provide you one example so that you can use it in more efficient way so let us try to select all the green color circles with dashed line type let's go to visually spidey select all the circles with green color and dash line type okay so how do we write it first of all set q green dashed circles so i am writing it like this ss get select all the objects but filter circles type of entity must be circle and the color code say dxf group color code is 62 and its green color means like red is 1 yellow is 2 green is 3 so a circle with green color and line type the line type dxf group code is 6 so write it like this cons 6 dashed the line type must be dashed so here we are selecting all the objects and filtering to select only circles with green color and dashed line type so that is how we need to write keep this in a list all the properties to be applied for the filter must be kept in a list so in all the objects these circles with green color and dashed line type will be selected so let us load this statement so i am loading this statement we have got nil means we might have written something wrong here so let us check it out so ss get x where objects are cir cle here i have written this wrong spelling so we need to correct it circle now if you load this statement you will get the object so load this see we have got selection set here so in total drawing circles with green color and dash line type are selected into this one so let us find out the number of these circles this is length of green dashed circles load this one we have got three so let's go to autocad and check it out say one two three we have three green circles so we can also check using move exclamation green dsd circles see those three are selected so like that we can select objects with different properties using ssget function so in auto lisp programs we will be using different selections to process the entities so you can use this method very useful while writing autolist programs friends hope you understood how to use ssget in autolist programs friends if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session